Hi friends, today I am going to tell you a short description about DDC panel. DDC means Direct Digital Control. This is the DDC panel of one package unit. Not one package, this three package unit. I will show you how to uh, configure this one. And configure the temperature and humidity everything. This is a touch screen type panel. This is made of Honeywell. Uh, here you can see there is a three user one is the en engineer and the other is the operator and the other one is the system administrator. The engineer means this is we can able to set the temperature and everything the operator means that we can the uh, co configure the parameter inside the system administrator is for the software if we want to update the software and everything then we can go through this way Okay, we will go this. And here you can see there is a dot blinking. This is the quick indication if something any problem inside the unit or airflow or temperature then it will indicate like that. First we will check why, why, why this indication coming. Here you can see what is the reason. The category high, the package temperature, supplier temperature, low temperature. Because we, when we set the temperature for the supply of the temperature below that one, then the, the, that is why this indication is showing like that. Then now we are going to how to set the temperature and everything. We will check. Then we will go to home. This is the home button. Then if we want to check, make it fast, temperature and everything, we want to press this one. Here we, you, you can see the fast setting. This is the first one is the SP, that means set point, light humidity set point. R set means, means that we can adjust the light humidity and the temperature set point, the second one. That means we can set the temperature of the machine for the room. And G, there is a three unit that is showing then G1, G2, G3. And the, this is the same repeat. You can see all are the same. Set point means okay, we can check how to check the how to set the temperature of the machine. First, we will try this one. Check then, then take the details of this one section and here you can see uh, this is the temperature of our set so this is the point of the machine here we can adjust okay we'll adjust this is only for the video of 22.2 then submit now we already we set the Temperature to before it was 22. Now it's, uh, we are set for 22. And now we are going to the main page. Here, here is the main page. Main page. Here you can see page one like that. Page one, page two, page three. Page. Here we will check what is inside the page. I am only showing the main main things. I will sh uh, make a detailed video later. Here you can see this is the main air. Main air means this is the return air. And this is the relative humidity set point. This is the room temperature. And uh, this is the temperature set point. This is the temperature we set point. This is the one G2 machine ka description. It is showing a one, one of the G2 machine description. This is the supply air temperature. This one. And we will go to another page. Here is showing the airflow is normal and uh, 
if it negates a wear flow fail or something happen then here we can able to see that what is the problem and here we want here we can able to go to home and here we can lock the unit here there is a LED indicator for the running status of the machine here you can see three switches this is for the uh, DDC and manual if it's put through this direction then it works with the DDC in the uh, local means then it works through the thermostat I will show you the thermostat of this machine here you can see there is a thermostat of the, that package this is the thermostat of that package here we can adjust the temperature and everything this is for the this is the master thermostat of the DDC control Honeywell this is the Honeywell DDC control this is the thermostat of that one then we will go inside here there is a switch yeah, this is for lamp touch and everything it's not important This is the touch screen interface that one we used before. And here I will show you some part. This is the Excel controller. This is for for the, this is the main control of this unit, and uh, it will give and take command, and it is also for connect to the internet and for uh, BMS, or we can connect for anywhere. And here is the power supply for this. Here there is a module. These are the module. This and this the command is coming from the module. Then it will decide what we want to do. This is the A I module. That means analog input module. This is a digital input module. This is a digital input module. This is a uh, analog output module. This is a digital output module. A analog input module means this is a signal coming, the analog signal coming and from the machine and this will verify. Verify the signal and it will give to this unit and this unit will give command to this uh, relay and the uh, relay and it will direct go through the unit. And digital input unit means this is the digital coming from digital signal uh, digital signal means 0 to 1 one off signal that like that signal is coming from the machine or uh, the machine or the temperature sensor or something else then it will decide uh, coming through this uh, this then then it will go through the, this one and this is coming through again this one and it will decide what we uh, what we want to do then it will come to this relay. You can see there are some lot of relays. All this relays is for that purpose. This is only a sh short video. I will take a detailed video. If something mistake in this video, if you have any doubt, please make a comment. I will answer the, your question. This is the this is, this is the master control, and this is the modules, and here are the relays. That's all. And every room there is a VAV control. VAV means variable air volume. That control control the room uh, temperature and every air flow okay guys thank you